All right, we're going to be tying the uh, dropper loop knot. Uh, this knot is used by a lot of check nymphers or uh, nymphers who want to uh, put a loop in their tippet or leader so they can tie a 90 degree angle uh, dropper off of it. Uh, so how you start is you just take your tippet or leader and you make a loop in it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch the loop in the middle. Now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to wrap this loop around uh, the standing line uh, several times. So I'm going to do that and each time I rotate it around I'm going to pinch the middle of it. And I kind of do so by just switching hands just like so. And you can see it's starting to twist around that standing line there. So now once I've done that I'm going to take that loop that I was spinning and I'm going to fold it over and make another small loop and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to jam this loop through the middle of the two uh, pieces that I was twisting. Once I've done that I just pull tight and there's my loop. And you can sometimes pull it and make it a little bit smaller, just like so. Then what I'm going to do is you can take your piece of tippet, and I'm using this different color mono here, and then you can just clinch knot your dropper right onto it, just like so. And then what you have is a 90 degree angle dropper right there. The other thing you can do is you can tie a, a another like a perfection loop or an open loop on this other piece of tippet here. Let's say you want to be able to easily change flies or something like that or change that dropper every once in a while. So basically what I'm doing here is just tying a perfection loop just like so. Then what you can actually do is do a loop to loop connection here. Just like so. That way you can change out your, your droppers as much as you want.